So the last thing that we have for you this month has to do with Teams and somebody asked some questions about how to manage notifications. Um, specifically notifications about Teams chats or, or uh, channel messages is really what they were asking about. But I'm gonna go in a little bit of detail about just notifications in general um, to give some ideas about how this works. So if you click on the gear or uh, on the ellipsis and go into your settings, there's this notifications tab. This is general settings about all your notifications in Teams. And so like at the very first thing at the top, this allows you to basically, if I was away from my computer and somebody sent me a message, how long should it wait until it emails me that I got something, right? I think the default is what I have it set to, which is every hour. So basically every hour or an hour after a notification, it's gonna say, hey, like I'm gonna notify you about that. I'm gonna let you know that somebody was trying to get a hold of you and they couldn't, right? Um, the next two are really about what happens when that notification comes up. So it's if somebody messages me and you see the box come up, what should it include? Should it show a preview message? Should it play a sound? Um, and it, of course, by default, those are both turned on. This next section is the one that is really um, the 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 one that the, the person was really asking about. So this is asking about what should I do about teams and channel activity, okay? And there's really two options, and then the third is kind of a combination of all of these. So all uh, so we'll start with the default. The default is mentions and replies. What this means is that for a team, I'm not gonna get an official notification unless somebody mentions me. So at channel, at a tag, um, or at, at me, my, my individual, uh, then I will get a notification. Otherwise, or if somebody's replying to a message that I'm involved in, otherwise I'm not gonna get anything, right? It's just gonna show up as a, if I happen to go look at my teams, it'll be bolded saying, hey, there's a new message and I can go look at it, right? Um, that's the default. And what that means is people need to tag people when they want to make sure that they get notified, right? Uh, you can choose to select this, which is all activity. This means for every team and every channel across the board, if anybody does anything, I'm gonna get a message, I'm gonna get an activity message, right? It's likely that not either of these will meet what you're looking to do. And so what they do is they allow you to have a custom setting, okay? And the custom setting does a couple different things. Um, so it allows you to uh, set these things based on what mentions, team mentions, like you can do all of these different different options. So that's one thing that you can do. Um, it also allows you to show, it, hey, if I have a pinned channel, what should I do for that? So it allows you to say, hey, I pinned this, so I wanna know about those pinned channels. In addition to this setting, which is all related to, that would apply to all channels and all teams, you also have the option to go into a particular channel and set the channel notifications for that particular channel. So you can say all activity, you can say off. So let's say I've got a channel that I really don't wanna to listen to, there's a lot of chatter on it, and I have, you know, let's say all activity turned on. I could come in and say, no, I, I wanna mute this one. I don't wanna hear things from that, I just turn it off. I'll, I'll look for it when I wanna look for it. Also the inverse, right? If you have most things turned as being only if I get mentioned, only if I'm, I'm notified or if I'm included, um, then notify me. You can come in here and say, no, 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 on this one, it's really important that I get notified. Let's, let's say it's a, a support channel or maybe it's an entire team. Like one team is your local team that you wanna be really responsible to and everything else is like, if they mention me, that's what I care about. You would wanna come in here again and change this, the, the settings for the team and for these channels. Um, so then if I go back into here, there's a couple other settings that I thought were interesting or might be interesting to people. Um, so if I go into these notifications, you'll also see you can mess with what you do for chats. So if I go into chats, what do I see, right? So if somebody's in a chat and they mention me, what do I do? If I get messages in a chat, what do I do, right? So, and then the same kind of things with meetings. So meetings is an interesting one because meetings, when you look at this, this is about, um, it wasn't always this way. It was probably, I don't know, six months ago they changed this. But if I'm in a meeting and somebody's chatting, I don't want to necessarily, like, let's say I was in a meeting and I left. I don't want to get notified about those things all the time because I'm not in the meeting anymore. I had to leave, right? And so what this does is it allows you to say, mute that, that uh, meeting, all meetings, until I join or send a message. As soon as I join or send a message, now I'm going to get notified. 
Uh, and it's you can also force it to be always muted or always unmuted for, for meetings. Um, but it gives you a little more flexibility because they are treated just like chats. So if you were getting messages, uh, notifications for chat, you would also get them for meetings that you maybe, maybe you didn't even join. Uh, last two things, uh, people. Uh, this allows you to, like, let's say that you want to keep track of someone, like you want to know when they come back online for some reason. You can add people to the list, this list either through here or you can actually on a person say, hey, I want to watch them. But this allows you to get notified if they, when they come back online so you can ask them a question, let's say, if you were looking for them. It's a micromanager's dream. Uh, I used it, so I've used it, and it's not a micromanager dream situation. It's a... Uh, the person doesn't watch necessarily their messages all the time because they don't have the notifications turned on. And so I was watching for when they got back online. So that's how I've used it. Spoken like a true Spoken like a true micromanager. Yep. <laughs> yep. I have one set for you, Mike. I watch what you do all the time. I know, I, I've never used it. Um, yeah, because I'm always online and you always want to talk to me. Yeah. You got it covered. Thanks so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate all of your views. If you are interested in more of our content, please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll see you next time.